In yesterday's video report, I talked about two handicappers specifically, Craig Davis and Trace Adams. And guys, if you got their place, you won some big money once again. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Tuesday video report. And guys, here's the bottom line. If you're out there on the fence anytime during this summer, after I have repeatedly told you about how many hot handicappers there have been in baseball and how many guys have excelled in baseball over the years here at the site and how easy it is to win in baseball, that's been my own personal experience in 20-some years of gambling. Well, guys, shame on you because so many just sit on the fence sometimes and they wait till football comes around. I don't want to hear any uh, complaining and lamenting about losses when your team gets that field goal, meaningless field goal with two, 32 seconds left to play to cover by a half point. Because again, it's not about when you can make money in football. It's about when you can make money anytime. And baseball is the greatest time to make money. Yesterday, guys, Craig Davis continued his red hot run. He has now won 27 of the last 38 days. And in that 38-day stretch, $10 bettors have won $5,380. Yes, that's a hell of a lot of money in a 38-day stretch. So we're talking just a day over seven weeks, five weeks, $5,380. Because yesterday, he won 59, winner number seven in a row, and 11 out of 13 overall. Another run-line winner with the White Sox, 4-2 to two over Kansas City. That's his third 59 winner in back since last Friday. And how about Trace Adams yesterday after a 4-0 and weekend sweep came out with his double your wager winner number 7 out of 10. A rare 2,000 star play only his third this entire baseball season and he cashed in with the Pittsburgh Pirates 4-0 uh, in their victory last night. Other guys that won yesterday Chuck O'Brien 60 dime winner number 2 in a row. His uh, easy winner on the Cardinals 8-2 over the Giants. $10 bettors in baseball following Chuck O'Brien's baseball advice since the 2009 season have won $9,917. That's why he's the number two baseball handicapper here at the site. Number one baseball handicapper, that would be Chris Jordan. He has won 24 the last 36 days. $1 bettors this season alone have won $5,828. And going back to the 2009 season in baseball, only baseball. $14,927. He's not only the winningest baseball handicapper since 2009, but over the past six years, he is the winningest handicapper at this site in all sports combined. FYI, by winning 24 of the last 36 days, it was $1 betters in that 36-day period, have won $4,570. So again, sitting on the fence, waiting for football, Big mistake. A win is a win, guys. And I'm telling you, it's easiest to make money in baseball. Listen, your money saving discount coupon code today is going to be August 7, August 7, and that will save you $15 off a single purchase price. Once again, August 7, A U G U S T, and the number 7, no space between August and the number 7. August 7 will save you $15 off a single purchase price today. That will be your Tuesday money saving discount coupon code. Let me get to the free pick 56 and 36 run with free picks hitting 20 of my last 29. Free play today, guys. Well, I'm going to learn my lesson. After giving you a free play yesterday on the Giants at St. Louis, I will switch sides and back the Cardinals tonight on the run line in this 8.15 Eastern time start at Bush Stadium as the Cardinals are on a nice run, man. I'm telling you, they're on another one of those second-half surges reminiscent of last year. They've won six of their last seven overall. They're 4-0 on this homestand against Milwaukee and the Giants, outscoring their foes 26-6 in those four games. After last night's 8-2 victory over Matt Cain, and tonight they face Barry Z. If I was a member of the Cardinals, I'd be itching to get to the stadium to face Zito, especially considering that uh, he's got a 7.56 earned run average in his last three starts, and the New York Mets just pummeled him in San Francisco in his last start last Thursday as he gave up seven runs, six hits, and walked three batters in four and a third innings and a 9-1 setback. And let me tell you something, Zito against the Cardinals has been dreadful. One and six with a 5.23 earned run average and eight career starts against him. His last four starts in St. Louis... A nine 
earn run average. Meanwhile, the Cardinals have won seven in a row, nine of 10, 16 of 19 at home. They pulled to within two and a half games of the wild card leading Pittsburgh Pirates. They're only six games now behind the NL Central leading Reds, who lost last night, of course, to Milwaukee. As for the Giants, you know, I rode them hard this weekend at Colorado when they snapped a one and seven slide when they couldn't do anything offensively and put 35 runs on the board in the thin air at Coors Field. And then, of course, last night handcuffed in an 8-2 loss. And the Cardinals are going with Lance Lynn tonight. He's 3-0 in his last five starts with a 2.70 earned run average. He's 4-1 in his last five home starts with an ERA of 2.67. He enters this contest with 12 consecutive scoreless innings, 33 strikeouts in his last 30.1 innings at home. Those are the facts, guys. That's why I'm on St. Louis tonight. Well, that'll do it. Catch you again on Wednesday with your next video report. Oh, oh, guys, hey, before I go, I just want to remind you, of course, if you took part in the Charity Play of the Week selection on uh, Sunday, Saturday, which, of course, was yours truly, as I won that game again, uh, remember, I realize a lot of you guys out there, you know, a lot of you play offshore, so it's not like you have instant access to your funds, but I want to thank those of you that have already made contributions to the charity I put up here. And if you haven't gone back to the website, uh, the mother of the uh, boy that's looking to, uh, the family is looking to raise some funds for a clinical trial. This 12-year-old son of theirs, uh, one of 24 patients uh, that has been accepted worldwide into this clinical trial, uh, which they're trying to raise the funds so they can make three consecutive trips to Tampa to get him um, into the trial and have him uh, undergo whatever medical treatment uh, he's going to have. Um, thank you for making your contribution so far. But again, um, I think it's really interesting if you guys go back and you look after you make your donations or in the process of making your donations and you'll see that uh, shortly after I put up the donation text here underneath the video report, I'm talking like an hour or so later, the mother yesterday, uh, or I guess it was a day and a half ago, posted, uh, wow, Tom and I, her husband, are speechless and humbled at the outpouring of support from people who have never even met our son, Sean, or anyone else in our family. We have no idea who has shared Sean's story with others, as most of these donors apparently wish to remain anonymous 30 of them in one day. And again, that was really only in the first two to three hours that I put up the donation text here on my site. Uh, God bless each and every one of you, and please know how much we appreciate your kindness and generosity. Um, if you made a donation, guys, that ought to just make you feel wonderful. And if you haven't made a donation yet and you have no intention of doing so, shame on you. And I hope that leaves you with guilt that's unresolved. I'm sorry, guys. That's the way I feel. Because I've given you the Charity Play of the Week selections every week now. Going back to March, they've won seven of the past nine weeks. My play was a $65 play. You got it for free. You got it for free because you were gambling on it. If you made some money on it, again, I don't care if you get $5, $50, $500. It's all the same. This is how we create the greater good in life. This is how we create some positive karma. And maybe all this karma, maybe, is why Craig Davis and Chris Jordan and Chuck O'Brien and Trace Adams, myself, all of us here at the site have made you and ourselves so much money this baseball season. Think of it that way. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Wednesday.